Thank you for being here. I have no idea really what I'm supposed to do or say, but I've, I've turned up. Um, yeah, so 4321 is the, is the is a new film, and essentially um, I wanted to try and, what I'm trying to create and trying to do in this country are... <laughs> is, 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 is do things a little bit differently. Um, regardless of how kiddothood and adulthood were sort of accepted or, or what they did, in the box office, uh, there were different types of films. At the time when Kid Hollywood came out, nobody was doing that type of film. It was sort of akin to the sort of Boys in the Hood thing maybe 15, 16 years ago in America, and adulthood continued that. And trying to move away from that, but engage that audience in the same way, is, is 4321, which is a lot more, for those of you that have seen it, I'm, I think a couple of people might have, it's a lot more, of a, it's a lot more commercial movie. It's, a, it's, it's the beginning of what I feel is a time in this country where we can actually make movies from the UK as opposed to good old British film. Because as much as I like to see Kira in the corset, I'd rather see her in a film fighting aliens. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me though. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, and so for me this is kind of this is more this is a, more of a movie. We've kind of got, you know, American cast in there, um, sexy young ladies, generally good looking gentlemen and then the ugly guy at the end in the corner. But I mean, basically, that, that, that's what I'm trying to do. And I think that this, this is the type of film that we should be doing to really sort of rejuvenate the British film market. And the works, the works obviously have been brilliant in, in supporting that all the way through. Because um, I think movies from the UK, as opposed to British film, could actually benefit us in the long run. And hopefully get more bums on seats. Because these days, if you're, if you're going to the cinema, you're spending, what, 70, 80 quid. Because once you buy a ticket for you and the girl you've got to take or whatever and then you're, you're, eat, you're eating before or after you're buying snacks in the in the cinema and then you know your travel you know it better fucking be entertaining is what <laughs> I say so you know as much as I love Mike Lee and all that kind of stuff I don't that's to me to me that's not entertaining they're good films and there's definitely a place for that stuff and we should never stop doing that stuff but I want to be I want to be entertained I want to come out of there like I did when I was a kid and go do you remember that part when Indiana Jones did this or do you remember that part where George did that and I think I think now, um, where technology is more accessible and we can do VFX and we can do CGI and we can do all those things cheaper, there's no reason why we can't start making Cloverfield type movies on lower budgets and really making London and, and the UK look sexy. And for me, in terms of what I've done, this is the beginning of that. So that's all I can really say. So now you're going to see the trailer. Thank you very much.